Okay, this, this right here is the reason why I like anime. I'm not gonna hold you. There is concepts and different ideas and all types of things I would never really like in normal real life circumstances. Never in my life would I like them. And somehow, anime makes me want to have a big bitch. I don't understand this shit either. So obviously, Plus Size L came out today and dropped their first episode, which only is 11 minutes long, which, you know, is a bit sad. But at the very same time, how can you make a story like this super long? Because it really don't need to be. But that being said, I think I'm into BBW now. I think I am into big women now. For some weird ass reason. Because of this damn show and it's effing elf women. And somehow, I'm just like, yeah, I, I would like to grab on to a lot of that elf cheeks. And like to see what we can do. Do not get me wrong. The thin version of her looks very good, honestly. Right? Like, I don't think anybody would sit here and deny themselves the thin version of her. I would clap the thin version of her expeditiously to be very honest with you but they made her bigger form look so damn good i don't understand I i'm confused i am perplexed i usually go for more of the skinnier type character but this is the first time i'm like you know what besides inko midoriya I'm gonna go ahead and just clap this elf chick real quick. Not gonna hold you, not gonna even put you down for 10 seconds. And then that damn assistant that was working that office as well, looking mad fine as hell. So, you know, there's, there's cheeks to be clapped out here. I am confused, I am baffled, I am bamboozled, and yet all I want is a big ass woman now. Like, <laughs> I'm so... I'm so sh I'm I don't know how to compute all this shit. I'm gonna be real with you. Keep in mind, I didn't realize that this anime was gonna be uncensored. And yes, I did read the first chapter of the manga like ahead of time just to see what this is going to be. But when it comes down to it, though, I didn't think they could pull off bigger women looking mad fine as they did honestly the absolute jiggly physics of this damn character and how they went about it absolutely insane like the only type of level i've seen is when we have jiggle faces like this only came into the form of inner species reviewer when we had the crazy witch episode with the whole wonderland amusement park with that damn witch just having clones of herself everywhere that's the only point in time where i'm thinking jiggle faces and boobas look very damn good but somehow they matched it in the first episode and i am super confused my point is, I'm definitely going to be watching this now. I wasn't going to originally, but I'm going to be watching this hard as hell now. Y y how in the hell is this done? I don't understand. No one can explain. But all, I, all I'm going to say, all I'm going to say basically is just that, yes, I, I do now believe and understand. I do understand why people were, you know, hyping up BBW and I can understand it now. I didn't understand back then. I do now. And definitely I do believe in BBW supremacy. Right? Let's like, just keep that very much a stack, honestly. So, you know, that, that's just how it is. Would I want this in real life? Not super crazy. Not super over the moon for that. But I could take a little bit of it. A little bit of it. That being said, though, in anime, bring on the big fat ass of women, because damn, they are stacking up hard in this damn episode. That's basically all I wanted to say for this one. Not gonna lie. If you haven't seen the first episode on Soonzer, please do, because. How they made it work, I have no damn idea.